Hello, everybody, and welcome to Vastin Dimensions 4. Oh, man, we're going to take a look around here and wait till you see all these bills. They are unbelievable. Unbelievable. Let's get right to it right after this. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Vastin Dimensions. I'm joined by a couple folks here, Lord Knight and White Knight Stew. What's up, guys? Hey. Hi. Doing fine. So we are here in Vastin Dimensions. This is like the second episode. Uh, well, the first episode of, of sort of like stuff has happened, you know, of, of the building stuff. And I'm going to come here a lot more than I did last season. Last season got very confusing um, for me doing Vast Dimensions because um, there were so many different kingdoms and they were so spread out. It, it was it was kind of a headache to figure out how to get there and who's doing what and stuff. This is going to be much easier to, to give updates. So everything's happening in one city and the builds are already unbelievable. You know, these episodes might not all be 30 minutes long. It might just be like, hey, here's a couple new builds. Check it out. And, the, you know, and, and that's it. But I just want to keep everyone posted of what's going on because... Hey, Lord, do you know, is anyone recording uh, recording from here right now? Um, I am not aware if anyone is at this point, but I have heard people talk about going to record on here, so... Okay, cool. Hopefully, hopefully soon I will have a little bit more time on here, too. Cool. To start recording again. Cool, yeah, I just I just want to make sure everyone sees the amazing builds and stuff, and as they go, because, you know, I, I know I did I did some of the end of the world see, uh, season tours last time, but there wasn't a lot of the in-between part, so I just want to show all the in-between part. So, uh, you know, you guys have had your feet on the ground here for a while, so why don't you uh, take take us around here and show us what's going on. This this already is amazing. Let me just give you a bird's eye perspective. Do you uh, want to... I just want to say very quickly, this is, uh, just in case you don't know, in case you're coming in cold, this is a survival uh, SMP. I am, I am creative because I don't build here. I'm just showing it off and showing the scale of everything. But um, everything survival, it is is the exact same world as Realm of Vastin, just in case you didn't know. We did a world copy, so now Realm of Vastin goes one way and uh, Vastin Dimensions goes the other way each season. That's how it goes. So this is season four of VD. Yeah, let's take, let's show, show me around. This crane at first is amazing. Do you want to start, Lord, and then we can end up with where the area I was building? Yeah, all right, it's fine. I have three points and definitely want to show. Mm -hmm. First of all, like this organically became or shared stored. And um, I did spend quite a lot of time here. I went around through all the old kingdoms, got like all the shulker boxes I could find, and did sort almost all of them, except like these ones in the back aren't sorted. But wow, that's... like all the ones in the barrels are sorted, and all the ones in the front are sorted as well. Oh, that's awesome. Which took way too long, to be honest, but it had to be done. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I like this because room. People... Yeah. yeah, it's pretty cool. And like, oh, I just started I using the barrels to do like the mess storage with the shulker boxes. And it turned out pretty good, to be honest. Yeah, it really it looks fixed. good. Yeah. Come look at this outside detail with the little armor stands in the walls. I did see those. I saw those last night. Those are really cool. That's yeah, an actually, interesting thing I wouldn't have ever thought of. It gives it a little bit more depth than a surprise look like they're always ready. You know, we get um we get asked very frequently about adding the armor stands data pack uh into the world. And um I don't want to do it. You know, we've talked a lot about it, but like that I don't mind data packs that add recipes for things that, that we feel should be in the game, because that's that's not that's not changing the sort of mechanics, but I feel like the armor stand, it feels a little modded to me. I know if you like it, if you love it, that's cool to each their own. But I say, I, I think this is cool. Just a regular vanilla armor stand. I think it, I think it adds a lot. I like it. I like it very much. What, what do you guys have as the head? Did you guys like put on hay bales? No, that's the texture park actually. Yeah. That's germs texture. I think. Oh, cool. No, yeah. Like the building <laughs> is made by modding MC, I think. But one of the things I am most proud of is actually something little I add in the back here. A little uh, Easter egg, I would say. Oh, sneaky. Oh, so sneaky. I was trying to do a trap door. Oh, that's cool. And I did add like a little bit of lore in a diary right here. Like, oh, man, nothing I too fancy, that. but. Oh. I Sweet. love that. That's so cool. You put lore right in here. Oh, man. That's awesome. Like an act is it actually written like an actual diary? Like diary logs? 
Um, yes, at the moment it's only discussing like one day and like it's basically a thief and he is like pickpocketing pick, 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 pick someone and he's like discussing like how he went about it mostly. Nice. Which I thought was like a cool, neat detail. I love the little things. I love the little, little things are what makes the world come alive. You know, especially when you're building really big things like we do here, you have to have the little things or else it, uh, it just doesn't, it, it doesn't feel real, you know, and yeah, that's a cool feature. Yeah, exactly. Check out this, this building. Yeah. This building is nice. Yeah, it really is great. Like modding, I've seen it like a great shop on that. Yeah, it's really I'm going to get a little area. Oh, wait, <laughs> I was going to get an aerial view and I fell into the water. <laughs> Um, this crane, by the way, I was talking about this, Jerm and I were on last night a little bit, and, uh, I was talking about this crane. This thing, use this, this grindstone to hang the crane is one of the coolest ideas I've ever seen. <laughs> that is so yeah, awesome. Yeah, I the same. Who, like, do you maybe. know who did that? Who came up with that idea? Uh, I think Shattering Plains, if I'm not mistaken, did the crane. Jesus. It's cool to actually like right now. I like how they used the, um, activator rails to look like it was holding down, but I... I feel like it might look a little bit better with the chains, chain oh. side instead of that. But oh, I think it looks great. I love it. It looks good, but yeah, it looks it. really good. Just a little life spot kind of look. Man, that that just adds it, it just adds a lot of things. You know, I, I talk to Juxy pretty frequently about um, like like foreground and background and things like that, and and you know that crane gives you a lot of different vantage points to have something in the foreground because that shows scale. You know, again, when we're building huge yeah. things, when we're building giant, giant things, it's really easy for them to not look that big because everything is big, you know, um, and having having things that are really up here in your foreground, all of a sudden you're like, oh, well, no, that house is actually huge because <laughs> you can you have scale, you have something to compare it to. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yeah, definitely. What's next? Um, on a small side note, uh, I did add a strip mine because nobody was mining, so I just used the scaffolding blocks again to go down, but... Wow, There's like not not much in there, like just time level idea. straight line. Yeah, that's um, such a good idea. I, it's just so hidden. I really like it. Yeah, it yeah, doesn't like, look it's like obvious, there's too. anything there, but um, I'm trying to think if what texture would go good next to it to kind of just fade in and make it look natural. Uh, probably barrels or like spruce slabs, but most likely. <gasps> Ooh, yeah, I like this. I, just, I like the droppers on the floor. Yeah, big fan of that. And the elevation changes, that helps a lot too. Oh gosh, white holes. <laughs> yeah, this is cool. Okay. Oh, there's an access to that building this way. Man, so what's this bridge? What's going on with the bridge that, that leads out of this uh, new, looks like being worked on building? It's like an aqueduct bridge sort of situation. Is this going somewhere? I think we plan to continue the docks down there and we want like this whole big area will be like a pretty big, uh, District for residents. Oh, cool! Okay. While more to the south and more to the west, we will have like uh, more slops, refugees, like slobby houses. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I've been working on because I didn't have like so much time, I claimed a small island in the middle of the pond, and I decided to make some defenses against the, the big man war because in this version of the Festen realm. That war is going pretty badly for the humans. Right. So we're still fighting it. Yeah. Oh. So right over here, <laughs> I cleared out the island of its trees and I'm working together with Master and Jason to terraform it. And I did build a cannon on it, which I think came out pretty nicely. This is so good. We were on again talking about this last night. I this is such a cool idea. I love every single aspect of this. I love I love how it fits in lore. I love that we would like we would never have this in Realm of Vassin, which is what makes me love it so much. Because in Realm of Vassin, the war is a bit more of a stalemate. You know, here they're doing anything they can. Like they've they've poured everything they can just to survive because they're losing the war. It's it's almost over. This is man's last stand, and this cannon is mind-blowing i oh, love wow. this that i will oh. say it, it was pretty annoying to build because i made like a quick sketch of it in a creative world yeah to search out the blocks i liked for the texturing yeah and um, i did sperm proof it on the inside and the top side with strings but like copying it over from the creative world and adjusting it for here mm -hmm. took way too long oh, but it's so good yeah 
I mean, are you going to do, I hate to, I hate, but are you going to do more of them? Like along, is this going to be like a, like a singular island or are there going to be a few of these? Because I could see, I could see a few. That would be amazing. Um, at first I'll try to focus on making this island like custom terrain and adding bunkers and storage rooms, etc. in here. Nice. But if the other members of Fast and Dimensions like this concept, I'm definitely up for like making some more of them down the line, but... Oh. This is great. Even though they take like uh, two and a half stacks of iron blocks, but yeah, well, iron farms are pretty cheap at the moment, so <laughs> make it. Yeah, make one quick that, that <laughs> and <makes> use it. <laughs> um, this is great, and that's actually mostly for me because so... like I did start on texturing the island itself and terraforming it, but I'm not like real far into that yet. But it looks good. You're still doing a good idea with the texturing. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> the gravel's not gr fully gray. I was like, if it was, you could maybe throw it in a little bit more. Yeah, there is some gravel over here, actually. There is some gravel. I can see that now, but. Yeah, I, yeah, I, it's I a little bit more brown like to go in with the dirt, so. This is just fantastic, man. This is great. Um, Love it. So, since, since we're over here already, how do you want to go look at the build I started doing? Yeah, sure. Instead of heading back to the city? Okay. So this way. There we go. Oh. oh, is this at spawn or near spawn or near? This is, well, not this spawn. This is where but... we came in. Yeah, came in. That's what I meant. So this is what me and Jux started doing when we first came in here. Mm. We did not know that the, we were supposed to be a little bit farther south. So this is the starting of one of the storage hubs that we were making. Oh, okay. And what the plan was to have it fully dug down to bedrock. And I will do some like bedrock design down there for it to keep it disguised in with lava and all that stuff to look like it's molted, mm -hmm. but have like store stone, bulk stone, and a whole bunch of bulk storage here instead of having all the way over there. Oh, I like this like little courtyard thing going on. So is this is this gonna go? Is this gonna like go away since it's kind of out in front of the gun or? I don't know. So what we might figure out, we might destroy it a little bit up mm. and make it look like the nether has came here and already pillaged as much as they want. Yeah. So there will be no valuable stored here. Right. There'll yeah. just be like stone and cobblestone. Yeah, I think having some, some ruined buildings on the outskirts of the city could be a really cool idea. Yeah, yeah. I definitely will like finish that it up and make it like look ruins because we are yeah. close to the line where we want to make the walls. Mm. So that would make like yeah. all of sense and would actually look really neat. Okay, so that's something that I will talk to Jux about. But since we're also over here too, there's this little hobbit hole, kind of. Yes, uh, more work of the great terraformer, which is Jason. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's made by Jason. Great. And this was his starter house that he came in and automatically built. Oh yeah, yeah, this looks really good really good like things like this you know things like that are hidden enough that maybe it it escaped the 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 army or maybe it was built after the after they came through or something like that like you know that that's a cool build uh -huh. yeah i really like it Ooh, rubber banding just a bit yeah awesome. <laughs> yeah well let let's cut and meet back over at the city okay all right, we are back, and uh, we're just going to check out uh, a couple of these things. So uh, the other uh, one, Immortal and Shattered Planes are on right now, and they've been doing a lot of work here recently. Those guys are on, like, pretty much all the time, huh? They're, they've been playing a lot. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And you can especially, see. Like, especially one Immortal, he always AFKs in Spectator as well when he has time. Yeah. This and is... it's just, like, real shadow diff. This is just great. I I love, man. I love, I love seeing, I love seeing. Take, I get so inspired seeing these buildings, and and I love one of the things I love is I love how the styles here so far, like they're similar style, but every building is really different. Um, and I love that. That's the way it should be. You know, that's the way cities are. I think I think sometimes when I see cities where every building is the exact same palette, the exact same, I, sometimes like, oh yeah, that looks nice, but that's not how it is usually you know like different people would build different houses out of whatever they have around and and uh that's one of my favorite things that's that's one of the reasons why i don't give very much uh quote unquote like instruction on what to build where i'm like no just go do your thing because that's how cities are like my neighbor didn't tell me what color to paint my house you know yeah exactly yeah th these are great houses so are these res residential is that kind of the idea just just filling in filling in space with just buildings that people live in yeah 
mostly residential. I think this tower, which is made by uh, Shattered Plains, is I think like a boat maker. You know, that will be my guess because of the boats, but you know when I when I first saw this, I thought, oh, maybe that's just a mini church of the end. Like maybe you're just gonna walk in here and just like boop, fall, you fall right into the end portal or something. Uh, but then I saw the boats. That is actually like... like a fun fact uh, or spawn boat for the city. Uh huh. Is almost right on top of an end portal. Oh well, it, um, yes, I, that's for a reason I think. I think that's where we set. I mean, that's why we picked this location uh, in general was to put the end portal there. And I, then I think there just happened to be a, uh, a like a shipwreck there. Um, who did these cliffs? These cliffs are great. I think they're a combination of Jason and Mogul. Like the same people who helped with their green team cliffs previous season, to be okay. honest. Oh, they look so good. Ooh. Yeah, just looks awesome. Oh, there's and there's a building coming over here. Uh, do you know what this big stone platform is going to be? Um, someone was saying something like having more cliffs over there and so more refugee areas and homes in oh, okay. the cliff wall. Okay, awesome. You know, we were talking about um, a little bit in Discord, like, like, oh, who's going to build there? Who's going to build there? And about putting up signs. And that's one thing I would recommend for anyone watching the video who plays on VD. Uh, toss up signs, guys. If you're if you're like, oh, I want to put something over, like, here, for example. Oh, here. Here's a perfect example. Here's some signs set up. Uh, uh, Acadia's Lighthouse, Nature Supplies. Please don't steal all of it. Yeah, don't steal. <laughs> but, but, you know, like, just those signs. And you're like, okay, cool. I can't put a house here because someone has plans for this area. So then you check over here. No signs? Okay, cool. Build, you know? Um, it's nice using Discord for maps and all that kind of stuff. But the reality yeah. that I found on Realm of Aston after three and a half years is that um, some people don't check Discord. and Or or when it gets in game, you feel like you're in a different place than you are. And it's easy to get mixed up. You put a sign on the ground, that's pretty easy to know. Oh, that means here. You know what I mean? It's it's hard to get mixed up on that one. Mm -hmm. exactly. and I, I like this kind of build, how they... Use right over near the cliffs with all the llamas from the wandering trader on how they use coal to do like blacked out windows for like the world war what they did during the world war two and one era covering it up oh and also them using the endstone brick compared with the sand and sandstone and cobble yeah oh i, I was looking That's at shatter planes nice i thought that was you <laughs> that's funny <laughs> uh oh yeah 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 oh yeah i see what you're saying you know, that was a trick I, I noticed when I did the Novigrad World Tour. Did you guys ever see that that build, that time-lapse build, Novigrad? I want to say it was Elysium Fire, but I might be wrong on that. Uh, Novigrad? Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it was Elysium Fire. But they did all their windows are this. All of their windows are that because yeah. there's no interiors, and they didn't want you to accidentally see that there's no interiors. So uh, maybe that's how I should build my, my houses since I don't do interiors as well. <laughs> <laughs> but I like the idea. You're right. I, I like the idea. And I, I think it's a nice thing. And also, I really like how this house is very subtly built at an angle. Mm -hmm. That's good. You guys know you know how I feel about that. That's look at that footprint, <laughs> guys. Look at that footprint. Look at that footprint. That's how you this build a house. house. Was actually, this house was actually made by a pretty new builder. I forgot his username, but like that was the one thing I was really in the footprint, of course, because mm -hmm. it's not. A rectangular shape of yep. the yeah it's very cool it's very very cool and also a, a, a llama uh, collector apparently <laughs> what's this say bridge here bridge. yep that's how you do it guys you put a sign up bridge here for a day or two no one writes anything then you you feel like okay well then we can do it well guys uh i thank you for showing me around i appreciate it white nice too thank you lord knight appreciate it uh, and thank no you problem. both for being in my video too <laughs> yeah, this is this is great. I'm gonna be back here frequently to show off the the progress. This, by the way, is ten days into the server. Just in case you don't know uh, what's going on, this is the tenth day of Vast and Dimensions, and look at this. <laughs> look at this progress after ten days. <laughs> this is really amazing. And there's some people who came in and didn't even have tools and stuff. You know, I mean, this is like, this is impressive progress. So we'll see y'all next time. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, bye everyone.
special thank you to my patrons, my YouTube members. You guys make all of this possible. We could not have a Realm of Vastin or a Vastin Dimensions if it were not for you folks over there. Thank you so much. Um, if you want to know what the patron rewards are and all that kind of stuff, you can have your lore and your story in the Realm of Vastin. You just look down in the description right down below there. It tells you all the, all the details and all that kind of stuff. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Uh, these servers are... Uh, thanks to you and uh, my family and I appreciate it very much from the bottom of our hearts. We'll see you next episode.